Do you ever just get bored after a while of working on a project for so long? You know, how do you keep the excitement level up? Yes, I do get bored. I get to the point where I'm just wanting to speed things up to finish, but things take time. You probably have felt the same way. Your projects seem to just kind of drag on for a really long time, but all you see is this little progress or worse, you have a project that has stalled and the contractor is barely showing up to finish or maybe has walked away for some reason or another or the one that goes and then stalls and will eventually pick back up and continue again. Those are the hardest for me. You have all this momentum at the start and then you kind of like stall or it drags out and you start to lose that direction or that drive to keep it and make it make the project move forward. It's just been so long. It takes forever to finish and there's so many changes and it's just to the point where you feel like the owner's kind of given up as well, but they appear to be kind of pressing on. And what what is it? What is it just the amount of time that it takes? Every project is like this. Most likely it's not. Things can be quick then sometimes things can drag on. When you've provided all the information to the owner and they're like sitting on it, almost like they're kind of scared to make that next decision and respond to what it is you provided, it, like they don't care. Are they gonna move forward with the project? Is the, is the entire project worth doing? I mean, what's happening? And these are scary moments for architects. What you have to realize is that for the most part, this renovation or the new home is not their primary job and they have a full-time workload they have families, they have children, and they need to help with schoolwork and after school. And these are all the things that they've got on their plate, right? And for the most part, you're kind of flexible and you're able to slide things around, but you need to consistently push things forward. And it starts to fade away the project. If, if they're not entirely focused and extremely motivated, it can sometimes, there can be lags for like months in between getting feedback and stuff and then there'll be panic will set in and they'll start to question where they are and why things haven't moved forward really in the design process this boils down to you this is why you can't wait and sit back and just wait for the project to get to that point you need to check in and push a little during those push push things forward so you you're not waiting on an answer if you need to get that answer you need to take the effort to continue the project moving forward, keep it moving forward, and keep the excitement going. It's up to you as the architect to motivate the team, keep them excited through the hard times, and keep them on track and on schedule. And this is probably one of the most important parts of your responsibility.